Hi, everybody. Welcome back to RVA Sec 2023, Richmond, Virginia. My next guest, what's your name, young man? My name is Roman. And what's, what's the name of your company? Uh, it's called MetaCTF. Uh, aren't you the founder? I am. That's, you're so young. That's fantastic. Yep. Tell us how you came up with the idea to start the company. Um, so MetaCTF was never meant to be a company. It was a way for my friend and I, back in high school, to run a cybersecurity competition for our friends. Um, we did it once. We did it again. Um, at some point, back in 2016, we actually reached out to Nick and Mike, who used to run the RBI CTF. So we talked to them, um, you know, to see if we can help. Um, and that's how we actually, you know, got involved with other conferences, met more people. And when, uh, around 2019 or 2020, we decided to incorporate, see where the company goes. And, you know, I think last year we ran over 50 competitions. So that's we're, fantastic. We're growing. It's fun, isn't it? It's when, I, it's, when I started my thing back uh, 10 years ago with the, with the podcasting, mm -hmm. just a hobby. Now it's turned into a thing nice. and a business, and we don't like that side of it, do we? We like to do the work, mm -hmm. but the whole business, it's a lot of work to do it, start it, your it, own thing. It is. Very proud of you. Thank you. Very, very, very good. Very good. Now, what do you guys do? So we run custom cybersecurity competitions. Um, primarily, we specialize in capture the flag competitions, but more recently, we've done red versus blue simula simulations, attack and defense competitions. Um, there are a lot of different use cases for cybersecurity competitions. Um, primary one is to teach. Um, they work well both for professionals who have been, been in the cybersecurity field for a really long time, uh, but also a great way to introduce people who are less technical to different cybersecurity concepts in a really fun and engaging way, as opposed to having them you know, watch boring cybersecurity awareness videos. Um, another use case is companies use it for marketing. Um, a lot of companies use it as a way to recruit, source, you know, and screen talent. Um, yeah. So I'm impressed that you know what Capture the Flag is. <laughs> Because we actually used to play it in the street when we were kids. Easy. Grandma would kick you outside all day, couldn't come back, and you played kick the can, capture the flag. Yep. Great game. Mm -hmm. And it's neat that you've kind of revised that because mm -hmm. it, it is uh, very unique in itself. Uh, describe capture the flag in terms of cyber, yeah. how it works. So it, it wasn't us who came up with the idea. So CTFs or capture the flag competitions are a really popular format of a cybersecurity competition. I think they've been around for, for years. Um, but the way it works, well, so there are a lot of different types. Um, the most common one is called Jeopardy style CTF. And the way that works is participants are given a list of challenges that cover a range of different categories, a range of different difficulties. Um, and their goal in each of these challenges is to find a flag. Um, and a flag is a string of text they can then exchange for points. Okay. So an example category might be web exploitation. Um, and your goal would be to break into a website, you know, bypass some kind of login form and steal some data, you know, behind the login form. In a forensics challenge, you might be looking at some kind of you know, network PCAP file, you might be looking at a memory dump, and your goal is to analyze the file, find traces of malicious activity, and they might have some kind of flag. So it can be red team focused, blue team focused, um, but the goal is that you know, you're know you using some kind of tool, you're using some kind of skill, you're doing some research, you know, Googling, um, and trying to find an answer um, to, to find the flag that you can then exchange for points. Now, if somebody does it, uh, are you finding hidden innovation? Like each year, somebody comes up with a new way to do it or a new thing, and do we somehow capture that data and incorporate and use it? Um, I think, well, one thing we definitely see is people sometimes solving challenges in ways that we didn't expect them to. Okay. Um, generally, it's not, you know, it's not like they often find an easier solution. They find, uh, participants can often find like a really convoluted way to solve it, which is really interesting. Right. Which we've never thought of before, and it gives us a lot of ideas for other challenges. Um, yeah, we, we do take notes. Um, one example I can, I can think of is we had a challenge where it was a network capture of a drone sending its footage to a oh. server. And they had to use, use a tool to you know, extract that stream from the PCAP file, um, export and, and watch it right. and, see, and see the flag that way. Um, some participants went, um, wrote custom scripts to parse the protocol and extract frame by frame of the video. Oh, you know, there frame by frame, that's interesting. There are tools online that do that. But, yeah. You know, just creating new tools, creating um, new techniques to do these things that you know, we didn't expect that we'd be able to do. Now, do we put all that data in some kind of database and really, uh, how would I describe it? It's a new way to hack, isn't it, kind of? Could be? I, I guess so, yeah. I mean, it's white hack, white hat, but I mean, it's still, they're a hack you need to get in mm -hmm. in a way. Yep. Does it? Does it divulge new vulnerabilities sometimes that we didn't think about? It, sometimes it does. Um, I, I don't think we've ever had it happen in our competitions, but I've, I've heard of CTFs where people are, you know, have found zero days um, while solving these you know, right. CTF challenges. Um, you know, 
Now tell me why people should participate in CTFs. I mean, it's a great way to learn. So whether you're a beginner, whether you're a professional, um, CTFs are a great way to learn new skills uh, and um, you know just uh, learn about different tools and actually apply them in practice. Um, so if you're a beginner, it's a great way to learn some technical skills. Um, the idea behind easy, easier challenges in CTFs is not to necessarily teach you about some very specific vulnerability or very specific tool, but it's more about to help you get a better understanding of technology and how it works. Um, so that when you, know, when you look at the website, instead of just using it, you try and understand how it works. Right. Um, for more professionals, it's a great way to get a lot of exposure to a lot of different cybersecurity topics. Um, so if you're mostly focused on you know, red teaming in your, in your job, it might be a good way to explore some you know, blue teaming tools and, and, and see how you know, other people are you know, looking at, at your activity. Um, yeah. Mr. Roman, yep. always pleased to see young people succeed. Congratulations, my friends. Excellent. Back in a minute here at RVA SIC 2023 at the beautiful Avenue Hotel.